if you have a lower end PC, you could definitely benefit from what I'm going to be talking about today, which is block strap. Now you can see already I have the old Roblox menu and I have a lot more graphics bar, which it literally breaks Jailbird if I low if I lower the graphics all the way. And there's also reduced motion, background transparency, which is also pretty weird. And you know, it's just it's so customizable. I just wanted to go ahead and show y'all. Now this will be linked in the description. This is the GitHub for the block strap. And so to download it, you're just gonna press right here. I'm not gonna press it because I already have it downloaded. But once you press it and after you install it and everything, you're gonna be on the block strap menu. This right here. Now there's a lot of options to go over. I don't even fully understand it yet. I just know it's very beneficial if you have a lower end computer. And activity tracking, you don't really need this. Uh, that's just for the Discord rich presence, which you can see right here. It shows you what Roblox your game, what Roblox game you're playing on your um, Discord. If you want to do that, me personally, I'm not doing that. I'm not showcasing the whole world what I'm playing. But hey, if you want to. And then you have server C server location when joining, which is amazing. That's what it is right here. You can tell what servers you're on. I love that feature. It's so cool. Nice and simple little feature. Allow multi instance. So that means you can open Roblox, multiple Roblox tabs, obviously not on the same account. Custom integrations. I don't have anything set up here, but as you can see, once you launch Roblox, it's going to launch something else with it. Here we have mods. Here you can do custom mods up here, which I'll show you all in a minute. And then the presets this is the default mods you can get. You can bring back the oof sound. Obviously, I automatically did that. The mouse cursor, you can get the 2013 cursor or the 2006 cursor. I'm not messing with that. I'm using default. Oh. Old avatar editor background. Uh, uh, I don't even know what that does. I'm going to be honest. Emulate old character sounds. That, you can use it if you want to. Um, I'd say it probably wouldn't work on some games, but... Probably not even on Jobird, honestly. Definitely not. Disable desktop app. I disabled this. You don't have to, but I just think it's a really nice feature to have. You can change the emojis that I'm, that are in showing Roblox. I'm not messing with that. I'm using default. Custom fonts. I'm going to show you all in a second. And then disable full screen optimizations. I don't mess with that, but it could help you. Now we're on the Discord server for Blockstrap, which will also be in the description. Now you can see there's mods on here, custom. This mod right here is one of the most popular ones, it seems. It brings back the 2014 era, it says. You can see OG uh, chat icons. Don't know what that is. I'm guessing that's the force field. I couldn't even tell you. And then the OG um, player list. And then there's also no water textures, which could help lower end PCs. Minecraft fonts, which is really cool. You all seen that font option earlier. Cursors. I just got a whole bunch of mods in here. Here we have fast flags, obviously frame rate limit. You want to max that out. Just do a bunch of nines. Lighting technology. Do not use the one I'm using. I would honestly stick with chosen by game. Escape menu, your choice just for looks. Rendering mode. Don't change that. I wouldn't change that personally. And then preserve rendering quality. Do not enable this if you're focused on performance. Keep this off. And then use alternate graphics quality selector. Turn this on. This is how you can make your graphics lower automatically. That's how I was doing it earlier. And then in the Discord server, you can see fast flags right here. They have custom ones. I just found some. The first one I've seen to improve performance. I would use the updated version, but this is just for the tutorial. You can go here, import JSON, paste it like so, and then press OK. I'm not going to do that because I don't want to do that. But that's simple as that. Appearance, this isn't going to edit anything performance wise. This is just your Roblox launcher. Like if you preview mine, you can see it says Roblox shift and then it has my vital icon. I like that. You don't got to edit that. It's your choice. Behavior, you also always want to have this set to live. You want to have it to change automatically and then automatically update block strap. And then installation, you don't got to worry about that. And then once you're done, you just press save. And then you're good to go.